what's up y'all it's day and welcome back to another video this video is going to be a fun one I'm going to be doing some upcycling and giving this cabinet a complete makeover from top to bottom basically I'm gonna be sanding changing the hardware and giving this guy new legs I'm also excited to be saying this video is in collaboration with Mappiful so bring in the credit so we can get to it I hope all of y'all are doing well let's go ahead and talk about what I'm going to be doing with this credenza one word Kane. Kane furniture has been the gem of my eye lately. I think they're so beautiful and unique. And I decided to pull some inspiration from Pinterest and also these cane chairs that I had in my office already. I'm definitely going to be adding some gold accents with the legs and the hardware and also um, just staining everything a nice light golden to match the chairs. I want this piece to be functional so I can store my tools, my camera equipment, and my extra decor. Speaking of decor, let's talk about Mapiful. I am so excited about this collaboration because Mapiful has some beautiful prints on our website that are truly unique. It was so easy for me to customize my Mapiful print. I chose the Zodiac Mapiful because I have been really into reading my horoscope lately and learning a lot more about my Zodiac sign. Also, I wanted this office to feel very personal to myself and who I am and what better way to do that than with this print. I was able to choose from a bunch of different styles to customize my print to my liking. My print came super quick and it was so easy to hang with the hanger that I also got from Mapiful as well. If you're interested in customizing and ordering a Mapiful of your own, I'll leave a link in the description down below. There's tons of different styles to pick from and they make the perfect gifts for loved ones. Alright, so now I told you guys what I wanted to do with the cabinet, now let me show you the cabinet itself. As you can see, I've sanded the top already and it is this reddish colored wood which is not what I was expecting. I was going for a more lighter wood like these chairs here which I still need to fix these as well upcoming video but um, I went ahead and sent it that and then also I put some wood filler here because there was a handle um, so sort of like this one I took this one out too um, that was inside um, so these cabinet doors can like slide back and forth but I want to change these so I went ahead and filled this up I'm gonna sand it down and I'm gonna do the same to that one um, and I have these I got this hardware from CB2 and this is literally so unique I thought this was the perfect touch for the cabinet and even though these ca um, These doors won't be able to intersect anymore. It's still gonna work. It's gonna look beautiful I'm so excited to use these what I need to do is basically sand the rest of this cabinet entirely down So I can then bleach it and get it to that beautiful light color and then we'll throw some legs on it But I'm gonna go ahead and get to sanding and show you guys a time-lapse Okay guys, so I was just sanding this cabinet and I pretty much sanded most of it. Um, I'm just having a little trouble with the front of the cabinet right now, I'll show you. Okay, so when sanding this, I found that the trim pieces on this um, cabinet are actually a different wood than the wood of the cabinet. Um, this is the color that I want this all to be, so I'm going to have to bleach these um, down just this side, the other side of the top. Um, and then the doors because I know those are our orange as well um, But I think it will be a lot easier if I have this on um, Some legs have it elevated from the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw the legs on which Are just these legs that I got off Amazon. These are the legs. Um, they're just a straight Hairpin leg they're gold. Um, I got a set of four of these for I believe $24 and these are gonna look so good just right there on the cabinet Holding this guy up with that light wood and that gold there. Oh, I'm so in love. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill some holes for this. Um, screw these guys in and then get this elevated off the ground so I can sand the rest of it. Okay guys, it's a little bit later and I went ahead and got the rest of this cabinet. All sanded it down, the trim piece that is. I did order my cane from Amazon a while ago. And I got it. Sorry, it's so dark, guys. Right here, which I'm so excited for. But I ordered two, and they only sent me one, which is unfortunate because um, I did I didn't even know I was gonna get the cane today. I thought it was gonna take a little bit longer. Now I wasn't gonna have it in time for the video, but um, I only have one, so I'm gonna make one work right now. I did contact the seller already, so they should message me back soon about that. But basically, I just need to take this cane and um, put it in the door. Also, since I only have one. Cane, one roll of cane 
I'm only gonna have one door um, for this cabinet for right now because I don't want to have two. So it'll basically be like this. So I'll have this door, it's gonna be sanded, the gold hardware on, and then cane right in the middle. And then all of this is gonna be one whole color. Um, you can see I sanded everything down. And then the inside of this, I'm thinking about sanding down as well or maybe painting something fun inside. I kind of just want to send it down though because I really love that like raw natural look. And it really goes well with these cane chairs that I have here by my desk. Yes, this office is a mess. It is currently renovation time. So everything is everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and get to bleaching this because I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Apparently I need to use um, some water and then just a scrub brush to scrub this and put it on. So. Hey, what's up, y'all? It is a new day, and I've done a couple things to the cabinet that I want to talk to you about, and I'm also running into a bit of trouble. So, let me go ahead and show you guys what's happening. As you can see, I've sanded down the door. Um, I think I still need to sand it down a little bit more because it's not quite as light as I want it to be, but um, it's close. Um, I still need to do some more sanding on the sides and bleach the sides of the cabinet because it is still a little bit of that red color in the wood. Um, but this here, I cannot get sanded down. I don't know what it is about it. It's still that red color. Um, and also, the top is just a little bit like too light. I don't know what it is. And also, there is a lot of gunk on here that I just can't seem to sand down. So, I'm hoping to fix my problems with this reed here. Yes, the office is still a mess, guys. Forgive me. So this read here is basically what I bought just for the trim of the doors um, to go around where the window is and the cane is. But I'm hoping to use this in a lot of other places. One thing I'm going to be using the read for is to basically create some trim pieces to kind of cover up this little black edge here. Um, so it'll kind of be like that. It's going to finish off the cabinet as well as I'm thinking of doing kind of like a design here. Sorry guys, I'm holding the camera so it's kind of hard to get this straight. But kind of a design here where um, I layer this reed up to make three, like three lead reed pieces. So they kind of create basically like um, a faux trim on this. And a little bit of design too. Um, just so I can cover that red piece right there. And also I'm going to do the same to the top. Now I'm going to try to get this in with Gorilla Glue sticks. Um, I watched a Long Fox video and we, when he was doing like the cane on the doors and the trim, he used Gorilla Glue. He said it was really strong um, and good for furniture pieces. So I decided to get the glue sticks here and I just have a glue gun I got from Walmart. Uh, that wasn't too expensive, um, so I'm hoping this all works. I'm going to try to um, glue this reed on, but I'm going to go ahead and soak it in the tub just so it's a little bit more malleable and I can really get to it. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put these pieces of ream on and I had some hot glue in here so I wanted to try to sand it but I didn't think about that if I sanded it the roundness would be gone so the pattern or does details kind of gone but I'm not too mad about that um, because it's gonna be really easy to basically just make this a flat piece so now this is gonna be completely flat which I'm fine with as well so I put some wood putty on here and I'm gonna go ahead and sand down the rest of this and put some more wood putty and then screw back on that plate and glue some more pieces of serene Okay, I don't know what day this is of this um, cabinet makeover, but this will be the last. We will get this finished today. So basically in the last clip you saw me uh, attaching those wood, um, this wood ream just to cover up some of the wood that I couldn't sand. And I've done that all around the cabinet. Um, I'll show you guys. So as you can see, I finally got all this down. I just need to sand it. Uh, basically what I did was just uh, put these on, glue these on, and then put some wood putty over it. But I need to go ahead and sand everything on here. But today we are going to be putting the cane on the door, which I'm really excited about. And then finishing up the rest of the cabinet by painting all this black. And then replacing this backboard. Maybe we'll do that today. I'm not sure if we'll be able to. But I'm going to be replacing that with, where is it? Oh, with this piece of wood here. It's just a lighter piece of wood. I think that'll be 
really nice and then I have the shelves that are over here and they are basically wood on the other side I basically just flip these over so I'm just gonna flip them over just to make it a little bit easier on me um, but let's go ahead and sand the rest of the wood putty all off of the door so we can get this completely smooth and yeah Okay guys, you just saw me sand down the rest of the cabinet and I got the top down to the light wood color that I want it to be, but the door itself is not. The door right now is like this kind of grayish wood um, and I need it to be a little bit lighter and I realized that I was using the wrong um, sandpaper. I was using fine, which I needed a coarser one. So Bradley is at the hardware store getting some coarser sandpaper and also some wood stain um, so I can stain this whole cabinet one light color um so hopefully that'll work <laughs> i'm kind of like doing this like literally just in my brain i haven't really looked up anything i also need to go ahead and paint this cat inside of the cabinet um black i have the same matte black paint that i've been using for everything so i'm gonna go ahead and just paint in here and then i need to replace that backboard with this one but um, I'm gonna wait for that probably until when I get off of work. Y'all, this is kind of hard to do when I work a full-time job, but it's fun and it's like a little hobby that I get to look forward to when I get home. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this painted and get the rest of this cabinet done so we can be done. <laughs> okay guys, let's go ahead and wrap up this credenza. I went ahead and got the door as clean as I could. I didn't want any debris or dust inside prior to putting the cane on. I went ahead and run a vacuum cleaner over it as well. Then I soaked my cane in some water for about 30 minutes or so, and then it just stapled that right onto the door. It was very easy to manipulate while it was wet, so I highly recommend you do that if you're gonna try this. Next, to give the credenza a touch of modern, and it's a little bit retro on the outside, so I thought black would really modernize it and give it that touch of modern that my room needs. Um, so I went ahead and painted that, and I also removed that back plate because this one had holes in it, I don't need any hose in mine. I want it just it to be flat. Next, as you can see, I'm staining the credenza, this light golden color. I thought it was the perfect color and it matches the chairs perfectly, I kid you not. I also had to end up taking the cane out and restapling it in um, just to get that stain too because I thought it was a little bit too white. So I went ahead and stained the cane, the door, and that brings us to where we are now with the finished cabinet. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. That's all I have for you today. If you guys want more content, you can follow me on my Instagram at DXDRIE. As always, pieces and blessings. Thank you.